Welcome to episode 636. Joseph Edelman, Wall Street's most successful biotech hedge fund manager. Eight lessons. This is an outline of episode 636, lesson 1 to lesson 4. This is an outline of episode 636, lesson 5 to lesson 8. Lesson 1. Start old. At age 43, he founded his hedge fund, Perceptive Advisors. Maybe 43, not that old. James Simon co-founded hedge fund Renaissance Technology at age 44. Lesson 2. He disappointed his father. He drifted through life for 10 years after majoring in psychology. This is picture of his father, Isidore Edelman, who is a world-renowned scientist and a professor at Columbia University. My father felt very attached to this book. Uh, you know, it's a fairly high level scientifically. Uh, In his childhood, he remembers spending two summers with Linus Pauling, the Nobel Prize winner, who was the mentor of his father. Lesson three, he discovered his passion, combining science and business. Apparent that I was not cut out for that period of years I had to try to figure out what I would do. And I kind of came upon being a biotech analyst because I thought it was a combination of business and science. Lesson four, find your niche. His niche is biotech and new drugs. Lesson five, patience and investing rather than trading. So it's a mix. Uh, we, our focus is biotech. We also have some spec pharma. Uh, some services and devices. We've done very well with the company Nevro. It's a more recent position. Um, and, um, but we have a broad, it's a pretty diversified portfolio. Lesson six, high drug price is favorite whipping boy for politicians such as Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Oh, so, I mean, it's more than I'm perception much... though, right? All right? I mean, you know, Hillary Clinton puts this tweet out many months ago. Uh, and it takes the group down. And then Donald Trump and whoever else on the campaign trail, maybe the whole spectrum. Lesson seven, high drug price is good for innovation. Uh, sort of takes on drug prices and the whole space gets hit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, it's not going to Yeah, I do. I mean, I said earlier, I think high drug prices are actually good. Uh, they're a good thing. And the reason they're good is if you want, let's say you have a disease, I use the example of Alzheimer's, very risky to develop a drug. You want the reward to be great. That tends to cause drug developers to take more risk and, and develop more novel mechanisms, not all these Me Too drugs. Uh, in all the orphan diseases, like in DMD, if you can't charge hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, there will be no drugs. There just won't be. Because you Lesson eight, risk control. He diversifies into 100 plus positions in life sciences yeah i mean i've had these in neurocrim for several years i've had you know so these are really long-term positions um but we have you know we have over 100 positions and and there's some that are smaller that i may be a little more tendency to trade um thank you for watching please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below do you have any favorite self-made billionaires i have not covered Please let me know. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.